sa maraming lahi, guys. <laughs> Ayan siya. So, but then sa family namin, 11 kami, and I have uh, four brothers, and I have six, six, <laughs> six uh, sisters. So, the eldest is my brother, and then six, uh, six na sisters ko, and then three brothers, and then me. So, but then guys, uh, a sad story. My father died when I was one year and five months old. vlog is about uh, my my background who I really am so I think you all know my name I'm Janeline by the way so isi-share ko lang yung family background ko at first uh, you as you all know guys uh, I belong into a big family we're in 11 kaming magkakapatid I have 10 siblings uh, actually first one my my mom is the only child of my grandparents but my grandfather in my mother's side uh, has another family wherein ang nanay ko is the only child but then she has uh, she has half siblings in her father's side So, and then, my father, they were 11. So, my father is a kind of a big family. <laughs> so, maraming lahi, guys. <laughs> Ayan siya. So, but then sa family namin, 11 kami, and I have uh, four brothers, and I have six, six, <laughs> six uh, sisters. So the eldest is my brother, and then six, uh, six na sisters ko, and then three brothers, and then me. So, but then guys, uh, a sad story. My father died when I was one year and five months old, and then I finished my elementary so far because of my, because of the help of my mom. And I have three siblings who needed to stop for their university so they could help my mom to provide for the needs that we need. Kasi mga bata pa kami. So, um, I finished my elementary in our barangay, which is Bulawen Elementary School. So, shout out sa mga taga Bulawen. Uh, and then after done I enrolled into secondary which is as a school ang school ko ay Buffalo Landa high school so when I started my secondary school I finished my first year and then I had an opportunity to have my vacation In my sister's place for two months but then it takes much longer so nakauwi ako sa amin late and then in short guys uh, I wasn't able to enroll for the second year high school in secondary so I needed to to wait for another year I stopped for a year sa, sa uh, pag-aaral uh, But then I have to go back to school after that. So, and when I go back, my sister uh, asked me if I wanted to stay with them. She was the one paying for my school. 
Uh, in exchange to that, I will live with them, since my brother-in-law is working into USA, even up to now, he's there, he is, is still there, so, um, they have three kids, so I needed to be with them and helping my sister, and uh, I finished my secondary living with them, uh, it's like 15 hours, I'm 15 minutes, guys, I mean, 15 minutes away from home from my parents house to my sibling to my sister's place and then when i finished my secondary i work in Carinderia. Uh, it's a kind of a small restaurant wherein my aunt is the owner of that business mm. uh, i worked there for four months and then it was my uncle, her husband, who was the cook or chef. And then every time she, he makes uh, food for the customer, since I was his assistant. So I'm observing, guys. And that's where I get a little skills about cooking. And actually, when I when I stayed in my sister's place, I learned the house chores, and uh, I was able to be an independent as well, because it's different living with another place than your own place, like kind of uh, your comfort zone. So, in guys, four months of working there. After that, I enrolled myself into the device course about computer. So it's a hard work computer servicing. Mm, after ko na mag uh, aral ng ladderized computer course, uh, that takes only for 45 days. I work in the public market for I think uh, half year to save money for my mission because I really wanted to go on a mission. Mm. And then after noon, when I was when I saved the money for it, uh, I applied for my mission. And then when I was able to receive my mission call, I stayed for a couple of months in one family so I could be able to be yeah, spiritually prepared and they helped me as well they helped me financially to go on my mission as well and then they have a big help uh, in my life uh, where I am today is that Along the way, may mga taong tumulong sa akin. At maraming salamat sa kanila. Including my sister, my mom, my family, and those families that I live with. Uh, thank you so much. If you have been watching my blog, uh, kung mapapanood niyo man to, maraming salamat sa inyo. Uh, and then uh, I was able to serve on my mission when I was 21 and I stayed there for one and a half year guys Samindanao Samindanao Island wherein uh, there is the place na to akong mag Cebuano because the mission language is Cebuano but I am originally from Luzon, which is northern part of Luzon. So, yun yung guys. Uh, along the way, sa journey na yun, from elementary, growing up without a father, is hard. Uh, I miss him a lot. And how I wish I had an opportunity to show him how I am grateful that he is my father 
and um, along the way sa mga na experience na yon high school elementary mahirap mahirap ang buhay pero grateful ako kasi those hardship help me to appreciate little things in life and those hardship help me to be even more stronger and be humble enough for myself na maintindihan din yung katayuan ng ibang tao we may not be rich we may not be uh, we may not have a lot of things pero ang importante guys is yung masaya tayo at hindi tayo nakakatapak ng dignidad ng ibang tao or I mean uh, we're satisfied with what we have and we strive more na maging successful in life on my next vlog guys is share ko what happened after my mission uh, so stay in tune in my blog please subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button if you enjoy this video and click the notification bell so you won't miss anything every time i upload new videos and thank you guys for watching see you guys on my next one bye bye